all. Nice to be here. I want to start out by, by thanking you, spending your Thursday evening with me. So it's very nice to be here, and uh, I'm very excited to tell you about what we're doing at Khan Academy. So this is the logo of Khan Academy, and uh, if you don't know much about it, what I'm going to start out with is kind of a little background and kind of how things got started. And it started with this gentleman, Sal Khan. And so Sal was in his early 30s living in New York, and he was in finance. He was doing uh, hedge fund managing, so he was actually quite successful at it. And he's Indian, so he got an invitation to an Indian wedding, large Indian wedding. So he went down to New Orleans where he grew up for this wedding, and he met up with his cousin there, Nadia. So Nadia is this young girl, very curious, kind of one of these fun uh, young ladies to talk to. And he asked her puzzles and riddles, and she was smart, so she would answer them. And they had a nice rapport, a nice back and forth. So Sal and Nadia hit it off at the, uh, the wedding. He heads back to his home in New York, and he calls Nadia's mom and says, how are things? How are things going? And she says, you know what? Uh, I'm glad you called because Nadia's not doing so well in school. Turns out Nadia's actually not doing well at all in math. And he's like, well, that doesn't make sense because you know, I was asking her puzzles and riddles, and she was doing these things that are well beyond what I would expect of her. She was in elementary school at the time. And so I'm really surprised that she's not doing well in math. You know, tell me more. And she says, well, you know, she is having trouble with unit conversion, you know, things like feet to inches or kilograms to pounds, things like that. And she just doesn't get it, and, you know, the teacher's gone over things with her over and over. And we're not really sure what to do because they said they're going to actually put her in a remedial math class. And she's like, oh, you know, I don't want that to happen because once you go remedial, it's hard to get back up into that higher math class. And, you know, I'm just afraid that if this continues, she's not going to get to college, do all these things that, you know, I really want for her. And Sal says, okay, you know what, why don't you let me tutor her, and I'll, I'll tutor her over the phone. And, you know, I feel like I'm pretty good at math, and uh, I think it'll be fine. So she's excited, right? So Nadia's mom's really uh, excited. She's got some free tutoring from a family friend. And she says, okay, great, let's do this. So they set it up. Once a week, Sal will call Nadia and, you know, they'll go over some math together. But this becomes very quickly uh, not the best strategy because it's hard, right? Nadia's got things after school. Sal's working as a hedge fund manager. He's obviously very busy. And it's hard to set up times to do this kind of thing. And it's also logistically hard, right? Like if you're doing feet to inches and I'm trying to explain it to you, you know, it's hard to actually say, well, you know, look, you know, even on Skype, well, look, you know, this is where things cross out. And it's not easy to actually teach things that are very visual using something like Skype or using a phone call, right? That's not very ideal. And so they were doing it, but gosh, both sides were getting frustrated. So I was like, you know, I've told you this three, four times. I know you get this. And she's saying, well, don't lose your temper with me. You know, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. And it's not ideal. And so Sal's complaining about this to a coworker and saying, you know, I don't know what to do. I just kind of signed up for tutoring my, my cousin, and now I'm, I'm in this quandary. You know, I, I don't know what the next step is. So the coworker says, well, what about YouTube? You know, why don't you just film your lessons, put them on YouTube? And so I was like, oh, that's ridiculous. This is, we're, we're talking about serious math. We're not talking about cats playing the piano or you know, a <laughs> boy that says blood. You no, know, we're not talking about these things. We're talking about math. And I can't just put it on YouTube. That's, that's silly. It's ridiculous. But this continues. And so he's like, all right, let's just try YouTube. So he does. He, does. And he buys equipment. It costs about 100 bucks. It's pretty low tech. And he makes these little videos and says, OK, you know what? Let's put these on YouTube and see how it goes. And this is what they look like. It's basically a blackboard. Right? And you see a problem in the top left, and he'll work through it. So he'll kind of talk through it, and it's just Sal's voice. It's nothing fancy. You don't see his face, right? So there's no talking head. And it's informal, the way that I, I would talk to a cousin or a friend. And he will basically kind of lay his brain out and say, well, you know, this is a tricky problem, and it's tricky for three reasons. And the first reason is because you've got to go from laps to meters. Then you have to go from meters to feet, and then meet, you know, feet to, to something else. And so it's a, it's a hard problem, but that's okay. We're going to tackle it. So, it's an informal voice, and Nadia loves this. And this is actually fizzling out on me. Maybe it's back? Well, anyway, so the, the story's the same. <laughs> so basically, Nadia is going through this and trying to, trying to go through the videos. And a few things start happening that are actually pretty counterintuitive. They didn't really expect initially, which is that you have a video on YouTube, right? And he did it for logistical reasons. But immediately, it actually works out nicely because now Nadia can actually go and press play or pause. So she's confused about something that, that Sal says. That's OK. She can pause it. And then when she's ready, she can play it again. She can also mute Sal or unmute Sal. I mean, think about that. You know, if you have friends or relatives, you can mute 
when you want to mute them. That's actually kind of nice. And so she can do things with video cells she can't do with real cells. And so these tutoring sessions become much richer for her, a lot, a lot easier. You know, there's no frustration anymore. If she wants to play it three times, five times over again, that's fine. Do it. Sal's not going to get annoyed. It's just a video. And so uh, these are the kind of things that she's realizing as she's doing the video. And then you can also speed things up. You can actually say, well, you know what? Sal does this video, and the first half of it I really get. I don't need to listen to that again. You can listen to Sal, video Sal, double speed. You can just zip through that bit and get to the part where you actually really need to kind of understand. So these kind of advantages are there. You can also <coughs> use YouTube closed captioning. You can actually see what Sal is saying if, if the audio is not excellent. So all these advantages that they were not expecting at the outset. So things are working out nicely. Nadi is actually going through and kind of learning from these videos. And Sal and Nadi have this nice back and forth. And so then what happens is that the family catches wind of this. Like, well, you know, I, I heard that free tutoring is happening. You know, this is quite nice. Um, maybe our kids could benefit from that. You know, why are we paying this, you know, tutor so much money? Or maybe Sal can tutor our kid. And so Sal starts getting these new recruits, right? These, these other cousins that, you know, want tutoring. And he says, you know, no biggie because these videos are up there. It doesn't, it, it doesn't cost him any more time. He'll just kind of direct them to the video and say, look, watch the video. And now if I have a student, or let's say I'm Sal, I've got one cousin watching this video and another cousin watching this video, that's fine. You know, you can have them watching different videos and kind of catching up with, with each other. And it became really, really great.